One of the things I wanted to share today was some of the tools that we got for the forest farm homestead. And I'll tell you, this one's really turned out to be one that I'm using a lot more than I anticipated. This is our American made Landmaster EV lithium UTV uh, cart with a dump bed and a 48 volt lithium battery for uh, power. I was working this farm for quite a while just by walking and uh, hauling the chainsaw with me and other gear. And I'll tell you what, this really has turned into uh, one of my most used tools. As I mentioned, it's lithium powered and it basically has a very large 160 amp hour lithium battery that will power this for approximately 60 miles, depending on how fast you're going and how much you're hauling. But this is a Roy Pow uh, lithium battery and it powers this cart. And literally, I mean, I, I've been driving all over the property. I only charge it maybe once every two or three weeks. Again, depends on how much you're using it, but uh, this has got the extended 160 amp hour battery. Very, uh, very powerful, really moves this cart. To charge the UTV, you just need a 15 amp power cord and it plugs right into an outlet on the side. It's just a standard but heavy duty extension cord and the charger is on board inside this compartment. So basically the power cord just runs up into there and the charger's on board. It's this device over to this side over there. This Landmaster UTV is only the two wheel drive version, not four wheel drive. So you can see the electric motor goes right into the gearbox and that drives the two rear wheels. The entire rest of the frame is exactly like the Landmaster gasoline powered UTVs. So the only difference is they take out the gas engine and they put in electric motor. It also has a two inch hitch, so I can put on various uh, hitch attachments, which is very handy for moving the chipper. And uh, sometimes, you know, for, for the hook, you know, put a, put a rope on there to maybe tow a log or get something out of the way. So it can tow 1,500 pounds with this electric motor. This is the 2022 uh, model year. I got it brand new at an auction. The dealer went out of business. I guess this is something they just had on the lot and hadn't sold. Uh, it has the dump bed so I can open the uh, little gate. It's about four feet by four feet, give or take. Um, but it also has a dump feature so you can unlock this and dump the bed. Uh, I don't know how many pounds it could take, but I'm guessing it could probably take four or 500 pounds. But again, you'd have to put the weight towards the back so you'd be able to tilt it. It does uh, uh, have an option that you can get a powered lift for it. Uh, this one did not have that, it's just manual. I don't know if we would use a power lift really. You can put it on after the fact, but I think uh, just having a dump bed is handy enough. It's got the standard lights, so little LED headlights uh, that you can turn on and off. Uh, have never been driving in the dark yet, so I don't know how good those are. Uh, it, you can get optional lights or buy third party aftermarket lights, you know, put a light bar in for uh, driving in the dark. We haven't really been doing that yet since we haven't stayed out here to work very late at night. We're usually uh, gone as it's getting dark. But other than that, you know, I mean, it's been a very handy tool. Um, the, you know, there's additional options you can get for many different UTVs. Oh, one extra thing is it actually has a hitch in front, which is also the two inch size hitch. I usually leave this uh, ball off because I put like a D ring in there. If I'm towing with a rope to pull a tree down or something, I like to put a D ring in there to attach the rope to. So again, it's American made, uh, all electric and extremely handy tool to have at the forest. If I... Knew now what I knew when I first got it, 
uh, or first got the Forest, I probably would have bought something like this a little bit sooner. But with auctions, you never know. And so, uh, you know, I've been to a couple auctions since. There's never been anything quite uh, as good as this at the auction. So, uh, you know, if you're doing things by trying to catch an auction, you never know when you're going to get a deal. And I got a pretty good deal on this. This was just... Uh, just over 5,000. I want to say I paid 5,300 with all the commissions and everything for the auction. So it only had about half an hour of use on it. So literally they drove it around in the parking lot uh, at the auction and that was about it. So for $5,300 an all electric UTV, um, I think was a pretty good deal with four wheel disc brakes, a two wheel drive only, but definitely a very handy tool on the farm. Thanks for watching, and uh, if you have questions, just drop them in the comments. Have a great day. When filming this, I neglected to mention that there's also an iPhone or Android app for controlling the UTV. You can monitor how fast it is going. You can also use the settings to limit how fast it's go, you know, maximum speed both forward and reverse. Uh, this can be handy if you're going to have young people using the UTV. You can also use it to lock and secure the UTV so it cannot be started even if you have the key. So you need your, your application on the phone to actually unlock it and allow the vehicle to move. Most of these settings are pretty self-explanatory, so I'll just scroll through some of them. You can take a look on the screen. But uh, basically, there is an Android and an iPhone app that lets you get to the configuration of the machine, limit the speed limits forwards and back, and uh, set various features. Again, if you have any questions, just drop them in the comments below. Show them the ball. Thanks for watching. Where's that ball? Who's got the ball? You didn't get the, gu get the ball, Gunner. Get it. Get the ball. Get the ball.